Hello, everyone, and thank you for joining us. I am Samantha Emmerling, and I am market editor with Aspire Design and Home Magazine. And I am thrilled to be joined by Evan Saltoff, who is the Vice President of Operations for Eggersman USA. And today, Evan and I will be speaking about trends in closet design, and that's anything from the latest materials to the latest storage innovations. So first, I'd like to say welcome to you, Evan. And uh, we're so excited uh, to be here with you today. Thank you. Thank you, Samantha. So glad to be here. Appreciate you asking me to come join you today. And we are delighted. So I yeah, I'm just think we're going to jump right in. And um, I wanted to start by asking you about Eggersman, because my understanding is that Eggersman USA started in kitchens. And so I wanted to ask a little bit about the um, move into the living spaces and closets, walk-in closets, wardrobes in particular? Yeah, that's a great question. Um, I think a lot of it is driven uh, certainly by our customers' demands and needs. You know, uh, we, Eggersman as a brand is uh, over 110 years old and in the United States, uh, it's our flagship product. And about eight or nine years ago, we've added the Schmollenbach Home Living Collection, which is our whole wardrobe line and, and uh, complement to that. And it's really a, a homogenous product line where we can offer the materials uh, expansive, even more so in the wardrobe than in the kitchen because of the, the use and the care of them. Uh, but really... Uh, the innovation came about because we had clients that um, enjoyed working with us in the process, uh, sitting down and designing their kitchen with them. You really get to uh, spend a lot of time with someone, a lot of time with a customer or customers. And uh, so when there's that trust and that kind of bond together, they ask, what other things can we do with you? And so there's a natural step for us. Uh, we also saw a, a major uh, progression in the industry and a growth uh, in the um, home, li home living and closet wardrobe segment. So, And um, actually, could you tell me a little bit about that growth and why you think that is happening right now and, and expected for the future from what I've read as well? Yeah, so it's, I, I think we, we're going to talk about two uh, aspects of that. One of it is the post-COVID growth, uh, but, and I don't think you can have a discussion today without talking about that at all. Uh, but also before that, uh, wardrobes were really just already on a, a huge increase um, in America. And I think that's number one, that's because people are using their spaces more than, uh, more than ever to actually get dressed in them, not just a place to put the clothing, not just a place to store things. It's now an environment. So much like the kitchen is the gathering heart of the home. Uh, the closet is a place where you can come and uh, kind of showcase your gallery of whether that's handbags or hats or uh, jewelry or your clothing collection. Um, it becomes a, almost a department store in your home. And so uh, people are expanding the size of their closets uh, really to uh, invite their friends in. Sometimes, you know, they're uh, getting changed and dressed in there. So it's, it's kind of gone from that um, place of storage to uh, an environment. So yes, and it seems like the whole process of building a closet for a client is a very bespoke process and very tailored to the individual needs. So I was wondering, what is the process by which you go about creating a closet for a client? Yeah, that's a great question. And I think uh, when we started uh, designing wardrobes uh, here in, in the States, that entire discussion really opened up. It's not just about, uh, you know, what you have in your wardrobe, how many feet or inches of clothing you have, but how you like to use it. So uh, our process is that we sit down and discuss with the client, the space, the space they're going to be using. And we have a very detailed in-depth survey that we'd like to go into. So that could be done uh, from the client's side. They can do that and take it home and do it at their leisure or we can do it with them uh, in the showroom and then kind of in conjunction at their home. And so we, we ask questions like not just about what you have, but uh, for example, I, I just assumed that when you would design a wardrobe for a gentleman, we, I hang my ties. I like to hang them up. But of course, there are many ways to store ties. And so we talk about that. Do you like to roll them? Do you like to display them on a table? Do you like to fold them, uh, hang them? And so all of those things are discussed. Some people always like to hang their pants long or they like to divide 
uh, their, you know, workout wear from their jeans or casual wear. Uh, many people have a long dress collection or, you know, maybe just, just skirts or shorts. And so that also depends on the market that we're in. So you have to think about the region. Um, if we're in Colorado, for example, we're designing a wardrobe for our clients, it might be a lot more ski equipment and a lot more outdoor activity sports than we might have here where I'm at in Houston. So it, it does depend on the, the area and the person and that, uh, discussion and process is very personalized. Uh, wonderful. And I, I love that, that personalized aspect. And I was actually make it was making me think about the materials that you use that I've seen in a closet such as this um, seem very varied, but um, very fresh and new. And so I was wondering what kinds of materials you work with and are there any new offerings that where there's a sustainable story, anything like that? Yeah, so that's certainly I think out of uh, out of all of the different options that we have, we can offer a huge expansive variety. So we have uh, we call our decor materials, and that would be solid colors and wood grain uh, laminate materials that are really durable for a wardrobe environment. Offer a really kind of fresh take, and and even wood materials that you might not see necessarily in nature. Um, we're one of the very few industrial wardrobe manufacturers that is also still stitching and hand stitching our woods and veneers. So we still offer, uh, if you'd like a, a custom bespoke oak or, or even Macassar ebony or a, or a palisander wood or exotic wood, we can make the entire wardrobe from that. And that's something that it really takes a lot of craftsmanship to do. Um, in addition, we are creating an offering now, uh, eco leather fronted uh, cabinets. And so we've gone completely uh, vegan with our leather choices. We don't offer any real leathers anymore for environmental reasons. And it's, it's really uh, the possibilities of eco leather are really endless in what you can do, the patterns and the techniques that we can do. I have an example here, uh, actually, uh, of some of the different colors that you can offer in different varieties. So we do a, a full stitched kind of door here. Uh, where you can actually see the stitching pattern. We can do different kinds of stitching patterns there. And you can get a little bit, a little bit more wild with something like uh, an ostrich print, if you'd like, in different colors. So we can kind of get a little bit intense there. And then even, even a snake skin, if you'd like to. So, oh, but of course, I, no animals were harmed in the process of, of making course. these. So. <laughs> of <course>. Yeah. And yeah. Um, <laughs> Actually, as you show me the materials, I'm noticing some things in the background like we see here, but uh, some functionality and some design innovations that no one should miss when they come to Eggersman USA. I want to hear what, you know, talk, if you could talk to me about this um, watch storage, this sunglass storage, um, I'd love to hear a little bit about that. Sure. So yeah, the watch storage device and the watch winder system is a really popular item, especially if you've got uh, a homeowner that is interested in automatic watches, they have a collection. So, uh, you know, if you're into that, it's a very uh, specialized uh, segment or collection. And so each watch has to be wound at a certain frequency or certain speed and direction. So we can do watch winders for clients uh, that are exposed, like you see here on display. Some people like them hidden in, in, a, in a hidden safe or a hidden compartment. And you can do from one to 100, really as many as you'd like. Uh, and we, of course, build that into the furniture so that it's not just this, this device that you sit on the shelf. Everything, that's what we're all about is integrating that technology into the furniture component. Um, and and as you see it there, of course, it's very well lit. And I think that's an important aspect. If there was one item in a wardrobe that I would want in, to encourage someone to include an ad, it's, it's lighting. And so that is so critical. Almost every space we walk into, even if it's a custom built home, there's almost never enough lighting in a closet or wardrobe environment. And it's one of them, aside from maybe, you know, ensuring in a kitchen that you need to see uh, food cooked properly, it's probably the second most important room of a home to ensure that, uh, you know, we're matching uh, the texture of fabrics properly as we look at them. And we are ensuring that, uh, you know, wearing a black sock and a blue sock together, you know, <laughs> those colors can be can be kind of, uh, you know, tough to see if you don't have sufficient light. So uh, that's a really important aspect. And of course, we're showing that with the watch winder there and the sunglass display. Well, wonderful. And I, I would love to end with the question, what is your most popular feature that every client is asking for now 
forever. <laughs> well, I'm going to, I'm going to lead with and say that I think that that's geographically based. So I'm here in Texas, I'm in Houston. And so here, one of our most popular features is actually our boot storage system. <laughs> so uh, we created this and, and then we kind of owned and improved on it here. I'm going to demonstrate it for you, but it's a, uh, it's a device that certainly here in Houston, we've got lots of boot owners and uh, sometimes they're big, big boots and we need to be able to store them. So this is actually a great boot hanging uh -huh. device. So it keeps the form of your boot, but also, uh, you know, prevents them from kind of sitting on the floor and folding over in a great way to actually see them. So kind of comes out to you. And again, lighting, as you can see, is an important aspect there. So I would say for us here, that's one of the most important features. Well, how fabulous is that? I love seeing everything today. Thank you so much for joining us. We are delighted to have you. And I would encourage everyone listening to please um, look at the Eggersman USA website and check out where the showrooms are and please go look at this all in person. It is fabulous. So many innovations, just beautiful. And thank you again. Thank you.